Happy Saturday, guys. Today we are going to talk about fish food. What you give your fish. So, I feed, um, and I've always, if you look at my videos, especially back when I had the community tank and had like German blue rams, I actually even got an email from, uh, well, I'll tell you, one of the guys here because I, I do use their food. Uh, they have some good products. He basically reached out and said, uh, if you're only using our food, I would love to push these videos because the color on your German Blue Rams is the most vibrant and best I've ever seen uh, in my career. And he, he's been around a while. Anyway, he's a great guy. But, um, all right, enough about that. But I'm gonna get into, I'm gonna give you some links uh, with this of, of things that you can go read on the internet. But the point I'm trying to make out with the fish food, they can put anything on a label. But the only uh, stipulation by the, uh, the people that govern them, I think it's, I don't remember it. It's the, uh, well, it's in one of the links. I don't think it's, it's the uh, Food and Drug Administration uh, that forces them to list their ingredients by volume. So let's assume uh, I'm making a hundred pound batch of dog food, fish food, whatever. I have to list the highest volume or the thing that weighs the most. So one of the things that's interesting, just so you guys know, is um, I can put in fresh cut fish, which has a huge high moisture content. And by the time I'm done making flakes with it or whatever, you know, 80% of the water will be gone. So that's one thing that can skew it. Another thing is um, a lot of the terms are very generic. There is nothing legally uh, on any pet food manufacturer. They can interchange organic, natural, all, all kinds of different things, and it really holds no weight. Um, and for example, let's look at this one. Let me zoom in on this one. Let's see if I can get it. Fish protein concentrate. That's the primary ingredient. And notice they have a high crude protein here. This fish protein concentrate and this whole fish meal, those are the two primary ingredients. And then the next thing we have is wheat starch. That's not uncommon to have a wheat or a flour or some kind of grain because that's what helps bind the flake. Um, I actually used to work in pharmaceutical manufacturing. I'm a computer guy, but I used to do, I've worked for the Imes company. I worked uh, for a large pharmaceutical. And um, the dog food companies want to make the dog food as dry as they can possibly make it, but not so dry that, the, that your dog won't eat it if it's a dry food. Reason being, the more, more moisture they put in it, the heavier that bag's gonna get based on volume, and the more it's gonna cost them to ship it, if you can believe it. Uh, in pharmaceutical, uh, a lot of the pill um, presses, and a lot of like the pills that you get, if you see a white substance, you know, kind of like a powdery, 99% uh, of the time, that is actually a potato starch. They use, uh, they, they do some things to potato to help it uh, keep the uh, pill press from jamming, almost if you can think of using it as like a, a dry uh, a lubricant like graphite. But potato, nobody's allergic to potato. Uh, it's a great binder and it's a great thing for pill presses. Um, anyway, just something to think about. But, but um, I, I purposely use uh, dry, here's, here's two of my favorite, but I, I purposely use 
uh, dry. Let's see if I can get that in focus. I use, I treat dry food in my fish tank like a vitamin. Uh, so you know, it's it's high in nutrients. It's low in moisture. When you do um, what I, I I jokingly call freshly frozen. So it's a brine shrimp or a blood worm or a beef heart. Beef heart's probably on the high end um, of heavy nutrients and, and protein. But like brine shrimp, um, there is so little left after you um, take away the moisture and the water. The, a lot of your frozen foods are heavy, heavy, 80% uh, water. So they're good, the fish like them, uh, there is, are some nutrients in there, but I really treat these as like a vitamin supplement. So I, I like to, uh, if I can feed them, you know, they, they, the rule. So if you look at the eye on your fish, like if we can zoom in on this guy right here, the rule is the stomach on that fish is as big as his eyes. And so that's usually how much food, you know, to give it each fish. Uh, of course, the bigger the eye, the bigger the stomach. Um, and some cichlids actually have huge stomachs, but that's another story. But that doesn't mean you need to feed them that heavy. But back on topic, what I really want to show you guys. So if we look at this, uh, and this is one that I do use, but this salmon fish meal, uh, fish meal can be anything uh, that's part of a, a fish that's that's not for human consumption so it could be you know bones uh, things left over you know there might be a little bit of meat but I mean it can be anything basically w what they'll do with the fish meal they'll grind it up uh, they'll get it into a powder. They'll try to pull the oils off of it because that's where the fish oils that people buy for medical purposes come from. And then what's left is the fish meal. Uh, mice is shrimp. So this, this is the primary ingredient in volume. This is the second ingredient. Now that's really good in protein. This brewer's dried yeast, just so you guys know, I know that looks weird. This is probably something that they got from uh, a brewery, a microbrewery, or, or you know somebody who's making beer. I know this sounds crazy. The advantage of the brewer's dried re yeast, uh, this is where you're gonna get uh, bacteria. And so this is probably gonna be a probiotics. Let's see if it says, yeah, see? So it contains probiotics. So probiotics is a bacteria that when it gets in the gut, uh, it helps the digestive tract. So, and it's true for animals as it is for humans. For humans, uh, you'll see stuff like this in yogurt. You know, it, it contains probiotics. So, uh, I got sick not too long ago and, and my system got hammered and my wife gave me some yogurt and some other things that help put things back in my digestive tract uh, to help me. Uh, so that's a good thing. I know that sounds crazy uh, that you would have bacteria in your body, but uh, it actually does good things for you. So, uh, to me, Omega-1, uh, and nothing against Cobalt. Cobalt has some really good food, great company. Omega-1 is the flagship for um, for fish food. Uh, I, I use a lot of their stuff. I even use, I like their pellets, but my discus don't like the pellets. And so, and I have a heavily, as you guys know, I have a heavily, heavily planted tank and those pellets tend to fall to the bottom. But I just want you to keep in mind, natural, uh, natural is a marketing term. Anybody can use that. Uh, made with fresh seafood, they can't put that in their label if it's not true. So that's, there's, you know, that, and these guys are good, they do good stuff. So here's the deal. I went to the pet store today and I was looking for the highest uh, crude protein, and this was 42%, okay? Crude fat, 12%, and then ash is really low. I think ash is something they use to bind. They need that for the flake so that it'll flake up. But if you notice, if I look at my ingredients, whole salmon, 
halibut seafood mix and the mix is basically saying krill rockfish and shrimp all that is meat and that's by volume now it's probably put in where it's wet you know maybe it's been frozen um because you know the 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 people that cut up the fish and whatever they'll pack it on ice so when it gets to them it, it's going to be high moisture content but still when they added it it was the heaviest thing in there so they got to list these ingredients by weight the wheat flour and the wheat gluten and then the fresh kelp to me those are all for binding and and here's what's interesting i just want to show you guys something this flake it's not going to look pretty because because artificial ingredient or uh, uh food coloring like if you do the tetra flake that doesn't look pretty to me but as much as i know about uh a flake uh, if you really look close, it looks greasy, which is great. It means that it's got oils in it that are good. And uh, that's a good flake. So anyway, this one. So, you know, this is a low end. I got this free. I love Seekum, by the way. But this is one of their low end products. And I'm not picking on them. This is what everybody does. So the Fish protein concentrate can come from anywhere. It doesn't mean that it's a healthy protein. Uh, the same for dog food. Uh, you know, they can have a high protein concentrate uh, from chicken, and it, and it can be from freaking uh, beaks and feet, if you can believe it. So anyway, uh, here's another one I've got. This is a pellet. Uh, pellet's the best if your fish will eat it. Uh, I highly recommend pellets uh, because it's 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 in a pill, uh, it's pressed, and it still doesn't have as much crude protein as the flake does. But you can see this has you know whole salmon, whole herring, whole shrimp, and then the wheat flour for the binder. That's a great fish food. Same here. Well, anyway, all these are Omega. I got some others that I've gotten rid of or, you know, I don't use. But anyway, I just wanted to, uh, here, I'll give you guys a view of the tank. But I, I just wanted to share that with everybody. I think it's important that everybody uh, kind of understands that for feeding your fish. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to feed them here in a minute. But hey, I hope everybody has a uh, great Saturday. I know this is a long video, but I just wanted to share this with everybody and uh, go read these links and make sure you know what you're feeding your fish because the, the better food they get, the happier they are, the better their color, and the more you're, you're going to enjoy your tank. Happy Saturday, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.